With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends, the question is a square is inscribed in an isosceles right triangle so that the square and the triangle have one angle common okay and so we have to show that the vertex of the square opposite to the vertex of the common angle bisects the hypotenuse okay first we have to draw the diagram okay first we draw an isosceles right triangle suppose this is one side this is the other side and this is the third side of isosceles right triangle okay now a square is inscribed in this so in this way a square is inscribed okay so suppose this is the one side of a square and this is the one side of a square and this is another side of a square okay now what we have to do what we have to do we have to prove we have to prove that suppose this is a this is b this is c this is d this is e and this is f this angle is 90 degree so we have to prove that this side is equals to this side ae is equals to ac okay so that this is ae is equals to ac okay this is a square this is a square and this is isosceles right triangle okay now if we have to prove ae is equals to ec then e is the midpoint of hypotenuse okay so we have to take triangle a f e and triangle d c d e okay triangle a f e and triangle c d e if both triangle we saw congruent then these two sides are equal okay now what is given in the question a b c is an isosceles right triangle so a b a b is equals to b c because because a b c a b c is an isosceles isosceles right triangle isosceles right triangle okay and now suppose this is our equation number this is equation number one okay now a b is equals to b c now b d e f is square so b d is equals to b f b d is equals to b f b d b d is equals to b f because because b d e f is square okay now suppose this is equation number two now adding both equation adding 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 one and two we get what we get we can write a b plus b d is equals to b c plus b f a b a b plus b d is equals to b c plus b f we can write this as a b minus b f this is a b minus b f is equals to b c minus b d okay from diagram we saw that a b minus b f is a b minus b f is a f a b minus b f is a f this is equals to a f this is equals to b c minus b d b c b c is this and b d is this this equals to c d this is equals to c d so a f is equals to c d this is our equation number third now in triangle in triangle a f e and triangle c d in triangle a f e in triangle a f e and triangle and triangle c d e okay in both triangle first this side is equals to this side a f is equals to a f is equals to c d a f is equals to c d from equation 3 a f is equals to c d from 
from equation 3 okay now af is equals to cd and this side ef is equals to ed ef is equals to ed because both are sides of a square ef ef is equals to ed sides of sides of square sides of square and the angle this angle angle afe is equals to angle cd both angle is 90 degree because if this is a square then this angle is 90 so this is also 90 degree by linear pair axiom so angle afe is equals to angle cd angle angle a f e is equals to angle c d e both 90 degree both 90 degree so by s a s both triangle is congruent by s a s triangle triangle a f e triangle a f e is congruent to triangle triangle c d e if both triangles are, con are congruent then a e is equals to ec then ae is equals to then ae ae is equals to c a is equals to c a is equals to c by by cp ct and if 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 ae is equals to c then e is the e is the midpoint of midpoint of hypotenuse midpoint of hypotenuse okay this we have to this we have to prove this we have to prove okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today